One of Australia's favourite lollies, Whiz Fizz, is having a birthday. The sweet treat turns 70 and although lots of things have changed in the world since then, the sherbet's recipe hasn't. This is as close as you'll get to Willy Wonka's factory. Musk sticks, licorice bullets, caramel mates, Easter eggs already. Actually, we started about two months ago. Even the outfits for our tour have a hint of Oompa Loompa, but it's Whiz Fizz that steals the show, the sweetest of heroes even after 70 years. Invented at Arthur Campbell's Melbourne home in 1947, today it's made at a family factory. The sherbet's exactly the same, it's the same flavour, and kids are exactly the same. They just love it. 12 million sachets a year. The packaging has changed, the recipe hasn't. The acid that gives it that tang, we've got the, the bicarb that gives it the fizz, and of course the sugar, and it gives it a lovely smooth taste. Finer Foods admits with the amount of sugar, it can only be a treat, one that will be enjoyed into the next generation. In year six, I had a party here with a couple of mates, and we had like a tour around the factory. Yeah. Even 70 years on, Finer Foods is still an Australian-owned company, and despite the enormous number of robots pumping out lollies here every day, there is a need for humans. Some 90 people are employed here full-time. They taste test and ensure packaging is perfect. Michael Thorne's one of those humans who's been here 50 years. It doesn't feel like 50 years. I, it, it, it's gone so quick. Have you had a constant sugar high? Well, probably, <laughs> probably have. <laughs> so, do you eat Whiz Fizz with the shovel or knock it back? <laughs> Here's to learning the hard way. She wowed crowds with a guest appearance at Eurovision 2014, but our Jessica Malboy is preparing to go one better, representing Australia at next year's international singing competition. Thanks, guys. I can't wait.